Wonderful. Um, before we move on to other topics and we, we, we wrap up variables, I want to talk a little bit about naming conventions. Uh, naming conventions are an option that we have about how to name uh, the variables and the functions and the classes that we use when writing computer, pro computer programs. And uh, they are conventions because they are something, they're not mandatory, they are just something that is encouraged to maintain consistent between all the people who write the same programming language, just because if you get used to a particular way of writing and naming your variables, then it will be much easier. If we all agree to that same way, then it will be much easier for all of us to read each other's code, right? So what happens is that in C Sharp, there are very clear conventions about how to write variables, functions, and class names. And also there are good practices and good recommendations about what names to give it and the length, etc. Uh, the way it works in C Sharp, and this is very C Sharp specific, or the languages work in a different way, is that uh, variable names are typically written in this thing called camel case. And camel case means that if that the first letter of the first word is always going to be lowercase. And then if you have to stitch more words to that variable name, then the first letter of each one of those words becomes capitalized. So think about camel case as like this is, this is the hump of the camel, right? Right here. So for example, my name starts lowercase, but then the N in name is capitalized, right? This is what's called camel casing and is the recommendation for naming variables inside um, C Sharp. Other things, such as, for example, objects and functions, like, for example, console is an object and right line is a function inside the console object. Those in C Sharp are typically written in what's called Pascal case. And Pascal case is the same as camel case. It's just that the first word also is uppercase. All right. So you see how right line the W is uppercase, so that means that it's Pascal case. Parametric camp, for example, is also written in Pascal case. All right. Um, and then there are some good rules of thumbs and good um, practices about which names to choose for your variables. For example, uh, if I wanted to create a variable to store the temperature of a room, uh, depending, there are, this is a bit more flexible and it depends on the scope of your variable, whether if you're just going to use it once and never use it again, or if it's a variable that is very important in your whole program, there are certain guidelines you will get used to, to how this works over time. But for example, in this program, perhaps T as a way of representing temperature, it's probably too short. Uh, you don't want names that are either too short, that are too ambiguous, or that are too explicit or too long, right? So for example, temp, uh, for temperature, I find it a little ambiguous because I could understand temperature as temporal, uh, which is also a very common uh, variable name sometimes. Uh, and, but temperature as a full world starts being something that I find um, explicit enough for a, for, a, for, a, for a program. However, imagine that we are writing a program where we're doing uh, temperature simulations for a full building, then maybe temperature enough is not enough because it's too ambiguous. We may want to be a bit more explicit and say this is room temperature um, and write room temp because it's a little shorter, but it's, I still understand this as temperature, not room temporal maybe. Uh, and perhaps room temperature starts being a little too long, maybe. But um, with these guidelines, there's a lot of flexibility and actually I tend to favor myself very long and very explicit names sometimes, especially for functions. Um, and uh, I get a little confused with very short cryptic variable names because then when I leave the program and then pick it up two months later, I literally do not remember at all uh, what those variables refer to. So I like being a little more ex on the explicit side, but that's, um, that's for up to you to, to decide as a programmer. All right. Uh, all right, let's move on to other fun stuff. 